are some people in your life that always made you feel like there was something wrong with you. And you was always the reject. And people didn't include you, even in your own family. Look at David. When they said, call your son, they didn't even call him. They still had him working. But that's the one the most high want to use. They say the black sheep of the family, that's the one he want to use. There are people in your life that every time that certain person that you get around, they just make you feel like you're doing something wrong and you can't even talk, you can't do nothing right. And you got other people that love you and that's the same thing that you do. It's like they celebrate you. Beware of the people with the jealous spirit. And some of them can be an evil spirit. Yeah, there was a pastor in the church, I remember. And before I had spiritual discernment, and what happened was, I would go every time it's time to shake people's hand, he would turn away from me. But I didn't have spiritual discernment. It made me feel some, when feel rejection. That's why some black people want to be accepted by white. We don't need white people's approval that we the people. We don't need to convince them that the Messiah is black. Accept each other and accept yourself. If people don't accept you, reject them. They reject you, reject them. Right? He said, if them that receive you, I'll receive me. And him that don't receive you, don't receive me. And sometimes people just don't receive you. You don't need that person in your life. Because every time you're around them, you go around them, you got to work hard to explain yourself. That's the enemy or the spirit of jealousy. That person sees something in you, they're jealous of you. Or that's an evil spirit. So you need to just to get away from that person. I had an incident uh, of a so-called, uh, you know, somebody that with a title or a pastor. Yeah, even recently. Another recent one. And the thing is, like, every time you call this person, it's like, it's always argumentative. It's like, it's like bad vibes. Yeah, listen to them bad vibes. And I'm probably saying I'm cutting the string. I'm not dealing with you. And I, I've met people on that's part of the leadership. Brother talk for hours and hours. He don't get mad. And this brother get, oh, oh I want to talk. And they listen to people. They're not trying to overwrite. Sometimes people want to pour their heart out. It ain't that they're trying to know more than you or dominate the situation. But when you find people that let you be you, those are the people you want to be around. The people that reject you, you don't need them. The people that celebrate you, that's the people you want to be around. There's nothing wrong with you. There's something wrong with them. It could be an evil spirit or it could be a jealous spirit. Be careful of the company you keep. We don't need to prove who we are. Let's accept ourselves and let's accept each other. And we don't have to convince the people, we the people, we the people. You accept that you the people because the most high accept you. And I'm not going to be around a person that's going to make me feel less than what I am when I meet people in, in 10 minutes and they make me feel like I'm a king and they celebrate me and encourage me and lift me up. Make a choice. Just for Baraka the Yahweh. There are. Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace and salutation of the Akiyam, pushing out the word and truth and sincerity of the whole full light around the globe. All right? Just wanted to land back on what the elderly Jake was saying here. Abu Ratiza, Father's Will, he he's, has found the real truth, you know, he knows who he is, all right, and he's following the real man of the Lord, and he has the one true power, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh knows who he is, knows who the enemy is, and he's getting properly fed with the true doctrine, all right, but everything he is, he did just say is on point, which it's backed up by the scriptures, and we know that we filter everything through the scriptures. How he was saying how his own brothers, uh, um, David's own brothers, re were rejecting him, didn't look for him like he's favorable. All right, and to a lot of us that were considered the so-called black sheep of the family, because maybe we was always different, or our spirit didn't sit right with the wicked authorities. All right, okay. Um, this goes all hand in hand and this is in red letters the words of Yahweh Shai Matthew 10 36 reads and a man's foes shall be they of his own household and anyone that walks this walk knows that your so-called friends and family are going to be the first ones to go against you when you got the word when you got the spirit of the Lord when you're trying to be set apart from this wicked world and they don't want to shake off the wicked customs that they've been raised in all right because they don't know the word and they their heart is still shut all right, and their eyes are still shut to the truth, okay? A man's foes will be they of his own household. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Does that mean you disrespect your father or your mother? No. Does that mean you don't honor your father and honor the mother like it is written in the scriptures and the commandments? No, yes, honor them. 
give them their honor, give them uh, their respect. But if you can't be mingled with them because they're still with the ways of the world, they're still practicing God-hated practices, then you have to honor them from afar, okay? Because a man's true family, how Yahweh Shai said, is those that are willing to do the will of the Lord, the brotherhood, all right? The, the few sisters, those trying to repent, those trying to be shamefaced, those trying to be remorseful, those trying to change their life around, okay? Either love, love his father, mother more than me is not worthy of me. So if you still love your wicked ass parent more than the Lord, all right, and, and you're succumbing to their ways and and trying to appease them rather than appease the heavenly Father in His ways. All right, then you're not worthy of Him. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Okay, so a lot of in this wicked ass society with everything out of order, a lot of people even want to idolize their children, idolize their kids. These women want to put children above the man, children above God. Okay, so they're not understanding. They say, My little man is my everything, my daughter is my everything. When the Heavenly Father is a jealous power, you're right? Corinthians, the book of Corinthians, the Apostle Paul highlighted the righteous order, which is the Heavenly Father, the only begotten Son, the Israelite man, the Israelite woman, and then the Israelite child, okay? And then the, that child being taught that order is going to practice that order moving forward to the generations after and raise their family in righteousness, okay? And that's how we stay blessed. That's how the Lord stays being for us and not against us, okay? But this society being adverse to the scriptures, being ran by Satan and the people being confused and deceived, all right? They don't know the proper order, okay? And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me, all right? Because if you have to take your cross and lose jobs, lose spouses, lose children, lose family, you lose father and mother because you're walking the walk, you're being righteous, you examine yourself thoroughly in the word, study to show yourself approved, and you're standing on your square, okay? And they want to be against you. And then you somehow, you're like, ah, oh, damn, all right, fuck this shit. That's just too high of a price. You know, I'm not willing to lose my wife. I'm not willing to lose my, my parent. I'm not willing to lose my kids over this. Then, then you are not worthy because the Lord put that test in your life to see if you're going to stand strong, if you're going to keep your integrity like Job did. And then you'll be blessed like Job did. Get everything tenfold, a hundredfold, all right? But you need to pass the test. Same way that Abraham was blessed and his seed forever because he took that test that he was supposed to sacrifice Isaac. And then look, he never even had to do it after all. It was the Heavenly Father testing him. So you're supposed to have that faith wholeheartedly and cleave unto the Lord that no matter what, you keep the, your integrity and keep your righteousness no matter what. And the Lord will bless you. All right. And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. He that findeth his life shall lose it, all right? If you're looking for your life with a so-called cushy job, um, you, you want to get all jabbed up to take the freaking, to, to be able to get a promotion, keep your job, keep your woman happy, you know, that's going to lead to you taking the CHIP, all right? Because you want to keep your life, you want to keep your nourishment, you want to keep your little mortgage, all right? And you want to continue this society bowing to this devil, all right? Taking the CHIP, so you're accepted in the NWO. This new world order that they're setting up, all right? You're going to find your life temporarily. You're going to probably live to see another day, another week. But you're going to surely lose it when you're destroyed. And he that loseth his life, all right? If you present yourself as a living sacrifice, give up the ways of this wicked world, all right? To maintain your integrity, to follow Yahweh Shem Yahweh Then he that loseth his life, for my sake shall find it, all right? You're going to find redemption. You're going to find mercy. You're going to find salvation. You're going to find protection. You're going to find knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And out of your belly shall flow rivers of living waters, okay? And you'll be able to have spiritual discernment to tell truth from lies, uh, good from evil, okay? Now let's jump over to Matthew 5, all right? Matthew 5 and 8. It says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see the Most High. All right? And how are you pure in heart? 
accepting the heavenly father and his only begotten son all right from the greek word katharos means clean pure how are you made clean psalms 119 and 9 says that wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto all right you have to take heed to this word and apply it and how the book of james says now it be just a hearer of the word but a doer okay that's how you're found pured and purified by fire all right we're going to be put through the fire right now these trials and tribulations of having to lose family having to lose friends so called all right in a similar to like a vine cleansed by pruning and so fitted to bear fruit all right we're now fitted to bear fruit and and, and good fruit and righteous fruit and, and push forward if we're wicked if we're not purified all right clean the use of which is not forbidden imparts no uncleanliness ethically free from corrupt desire from sin and guilt all right when you walk and follow after the lord you don't have to feel guilt man all right and you're being purified from corrupt desire you turn down uh, a, a wicked bitch that may want to be playing her husband and yeah she looks bad as hell but you still avoid her okay because you're free from corrupt desire you're not following after another false god you're not doing witchcraft like our families raised us in with, with, with statues and idol worship or, or voodoo or, or um, false altars okay that the lord's gonna destroy free from corrupt desire free from every admixture of what is false sincere genuine which this damn fucking society everything is false everything is fake everything is smoke and mirrors everything is a deception everything is a trap all right blameless innocent unstained with the guilt of anything okay so that's how we're supposed to be in heart for they shall see the most high blessed are the poor, pure in heart for they shall see the most high and when you have this type of heart in the world all right free from all this bullshit that the world is holding fast to okay you're gonna be looked at as an enemy blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the children of god we're being the true peacemakers we're trying to make peace with the heavenly father be be redeemed to him come back to him all right and our people <laughs> that want to reject you when you're telling them and giving them an admonition and telling them the, uh, and warning them of their wicked ways all right they want to come against you so be it blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake all right because you won't be persecuted and if you're being persecuted for righteousness sake for standing up for the lord for standing up for what's right for faith you're going to be blessed blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake for theirs is the kingdom of heaven okay let's jump over to oh last verse here blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake so you're gonna be blessed let them people run their mouth let them talk shit they're only condemning themselves welcome that spirit of damn rejection all right but as the brother said be careful and beware with it <coughs> use spiritual discernment and know to get the fuck up out of dodge fuck them let that person walk in their walk let them walk in their wick wickedness let them not fear the lord let them continue in their godless ways all right because they're gonna get dealt with and you're gonna be blessed all right proverbs 29 27 reads an unjust man is an abomination to the just and he that is upright in the way is abomination to the wicked. So an unjust man is an abomination to the just. That's why we look at these unjust, wicked serpents, these evil doers, these people that hate the most high. We look at them abominable. But in, in the same like manner, he that is upright in the way is abomination to the wicked. So when you're upright, when you're trying to do the right thing, when you're trying to fear the Lord, what are these devils going to do? All right, they're gonna look at you as an abomination, right? Because they're wicked and they hate your spirit, and it goes hand in hand with what the brother's saying. All right, they reject you for that reason because the wicked find the righteous abominable. All right, Revelation 22 and 11 reads, He that is unjust, let him be unjust still, and he which is filthy let him be filthy still all right so i'm just backing up these points that the brother said as, he, as i said he said a lot of scriptural things okay you you don't need to worry about what they believe and if they want to believe you or not okay 
and if they they're gonna accept the word or not okay you accept it you accept it the lord may be dealing with you and not dealing with them more than likely all right so use that spiritual discernment use that light that the heavenly father is giving you that spirit that faith the right to navigate through this and understand what's happening on a spiritual plane okay that devil that wicked soul can't receive righteousness so they're gonna hate you all right so revelation 22 and 11 says he that is unjust let him be unjust still and he which is filthy let him be filthy still and he that is righteous let him be righteous still and he that is holy let him be holy still all right because that's the heavenly father's department we just have to spread the seed we just have to plant the seed and then who believes or if it takes good root in that person and they become fruitful good for them more blessings to them more blessings to you but if they reject it all right and you washed your hands and you sincerely and genuinely wanted to just help that brother or sister and they rejected you so be it ezekiel the second chapter and ezekiel the third chapter goes in on that they your hands are washed of their blood and you're still going to be blessed okay first corinthians 3 and 6 it says i have planted apollo's watered but the most high gave the increase all right so one brother could say a message the next brother could elaborate and land back all right we could both go into charts diagrams secular history maps cartography whatever books supporting the, the 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 matter bring out points bring out evidence bring out criteria and historical events that fit us like a glove proving that we're the israelites but if that man is not meant to get it and the most high doesn't increase him so be it okay verse 7 it says so then neither is he that planteth anything neither he that watereth but the most high that giveth the increase so we have to give space and time for the most high to do his thing we have to know our damn role and as our servants and what our department is and what's higher than our pay grade and what's not all our business people waking up or not is not our business okay we're just supposed to deliver the message and it's the most high that will increase that person or condemn them okay and that is not our department all right titus 3 and 10 it says a man that is a heretic after the first and second admonition reject all right so people want to reject you but if they're a heretic which what does heretic mean from the greek word ha he reticos it means fitted or able to take or choose a thing schismatic factious a follower of a false doctrine a heretic so if that person after you told them once after you told them twice you gave them admonition stern warning exhorted them all right and they want to continue to follow a false god or a false doctrine so be it sweep the dust off kick the dust off on your feet and walk away and let them be filthy still okay second corinthians 6 and 14 be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers all right yoked together means bonded together be ye not unequally yoked because see we're not equals if the lord has given you the spirit of faith the grace the mercy to know him to be giving you some light to navigate throughout this wicked planet you are not equal okay you are blessed beyond measure okay and you're gonna hear waste the lord's time and gift and mercy for you bonding yourself with an unbeliever the lord will destroy you be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness what you look like being with a with a damn whether he jake or not a damn heathen a gentile in spirit heart and mind that the that fearlessly wants to move like a wicked demon and you won't join yourself onto them you're going to be yoked together for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness and what communion hath light with darkness that shit is contagious that dark uh, darkness will overcome your damn light if the lord um lifts up that hedge from among you removes the the spirit from you removes faith from you because you wanted to be a ninja in the world too
And what concord hath the anointed with Bilal? Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? What business you have with this damn heathen, this godless demon? All right. No, well, what, 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 what business you have with them? Okay, you wanted to have darkness. Well, the Lord will give you over to that darkness. You're supposed to not be equally yoked, all right, and unequally yoked together with unbelievers. So, be careful of the people that reject you. Beware, use spiritual discernment, know the spiritual uh, um, aspects of what's going on. When if you're bringing out the holy word, when you're bringing out righteousness, when you're bringing out truth and somebody want to hate you, know that that's just a, a spirit, a demon that is exposing itself. All right. Because righteousness cannot enter a malicious soul as it is written in the Apocrypha. OK, so they're going to look at you detestable, going to look at you abominable. They're going to want to get away from you. All right. But take the sign. Heed the warning. All right. And you get away from them and you continue to walk and you continue to stay righteous and stay true because the most high is going to lead you to other like minded brothers and sisters that are worthy of the gift. And you're going to be blessed for imparting it on them through the spirit and power. Yahweh Basham Yahusha. So with that, I pray brothers and the few sisters was edified. So next time, Shalom, all honor, love, glory and praise to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Makakudash. Shalom.